teaser, another big round of applause for Miss Mark Evangelista and of course the team behind the much awaited program Heart World this coming October 26th. Um, Art, I just have to ask, because uh, uh, you have a mic over there. So, I believe they told me that this is the first time you're watching this particular edit. Yeah. Yeah, and you've seen the clips, of, obviously, you shot it. Actually, for some, I haven't seen. Like, there's you're a crying part there that, I can't say it now, but it was a very traumatizing day, so I haven't seen that one. So all of this we have to watch out for your new yes. upcoming series. Yes. Um, what else do you feel right now after watching that, uh, that edit? Of course, uh, share your thoughts. I'm very scared, but I feel very liberated because but I, this is like a, not that I'm gonna tell all like some you know I, I try to be as open as possible, but this is as close as we will get. So there are a lot of things that um, will be seen here, even like when it comes to my really personal life, my husband and everything. The Maki Pesha's heart world. So it's exciting, but it's good because if this goes the wrong way, I mean, and, but if it does go the right way, then all of us artistas will be liberated from living such a perfect life. And if I can actually be the first one to kind of like break free, then let's do it. Because, but you know, you're so used to seeing us as characters, as, you know, in telenovelas that you love so much. But you tend to forget that we're also human and we have our good and bad side. So, if you really truly love us, then you will accept us for who we are. And this is the show. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, I guess I speak on behalf of everyone in this room and every single kapuso will be watching this. And as you said, it's not that easy. Um, on behalf of everyone in this room and everyone who's about to watch that, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing a part of your life because I... Today I'm wearing this cup around me. So, I really bought this for this day. <laughs> Thank you. So, it's in my heart, um, you're opening up your world na to us. Um, sabi mo nga, this is the closest you can get. I wonder lang, um, bakit ito yung tingin mong TV comeback? And, you know, it's about time, ha? Something, a reality show on you. So, what what convinced you and what, in the first place, what took you so long to do this? To, to do something like this? Well, parang what convinced me to do it, um, life has convinced me to do it. I feel that with social media, with what you see on Instagram, you always see beautiful things, you know, about a person. And even if we do talk about authenticity, and I really fight for authenticity, what is authenticity? And that is basically showing even stuff that you don't like about yourself, right? Um admitting to certain mistakes um, and showing who you truly are. Although, if I were to speak freely, hindi ko naman hindi discuss exactly all the details, di ba? Pero muntik na talaga tayo doon natin. Pati yung CCTV ng, ng bahay, yung ilalabas ko na sa akin. <laughs> Wala, because I really wanted to be as close as possible. But, of course, you have to leave some for your family. So, like, for example, like, personal stuff that we went through, di mga iba na super So but I wanted to be if I'm gonna say being authentic then this is how I would do it, Eva. And it's good because I think gone are the days when we look up to artists that kinda not get it all pero may counting yung basta na controversy. I need to show so bad it gano kung mahal mo talaga yung isang tao, kung talaga mahal naman mo siya, parang kung talaga, kung anak mo siya, kung kapatid mo siya, kahit anong pagkakamali niya, you'll always see the heart. And I feel like Chase was the one also who truly convinced me to show our lives because it's not just about me, it's about him. Kasi this is what, you know, this is the real life. This is how it should be today. There are no more pretentious. Just no more pretending. Just be yourself. So yun siguro. I, uh, for now, I won't be playing a character. I'll be playing me. Where we offer some of before about the Um, long time ago, Ben. Better um, feeling ko hindi din siya naging tama kasi hindi pa buo masyado yung kwento ko eh. Parang my life was too good at that time. And I needed to kind of get a little bit dirty for me to make it matter, for me to be able to share the blessing of the lesson after everything I went through. 
So, ngayon na buo na yung kwento. Hindi pa lang katuti, buo, pero maganda na yung kwento. Parang uh, this is the um, right time. Yes, may mga offer na ako lesson that they will hopefully learn sa mga pinagdaan. Thank you, Mara. Thank you. And of course, uh, thank you, Ms. Natalie. Um, up next, we have questions from Sir Alan Policarpio of Philippine Daily Inquirer. Sir Alan, take it away for your questions for uh, Ms. Hart. Yes. Hi, Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, ask what is the fun time period of uh, when the show was shot? Uh, mm, this happened around one year. One year shot. So, pwede ko magmatili yung kaya na lalo siya ko para lalo kong pinakabansa. One year shot is really one of my most toughest times in my life. Kumbaga, itong time na to, lahat na nangyayari. So, it was very hard but I had complete trust with the people this time around me. And so they kept the camera scrolling. I didn't know what to do with it at first. Muna sa ikaw din YouTube. But I was saving a lot of stuff for something this big, GMA. So nakakatuwa dahil nag-acto na siya. So this past year yung itong nangyari lang? Yes. Personal style. That's what really works with street style photographers. If you, when you attend an event or you attend a show, it's not what is necessarily given you to wear, it's how you turn it into yourself. I feel like that's now the trend. Because it's sometimes when you look at an outfit of a person, parang hindi bagay, pero bakit sa kanya bagay? And it's not because nasa ganda, nasa tangka, nasa tamos ng ilo. Wala yun eh. It's about the character of a person. And that's, I feel like, becoming the trend. It's how each and every single one of us can show up with whatever we want to wear, trend or not, but it looks good. That, for me, is probably the new trend that should stay. Actually, touching on that, I just want to know, even if you've attended a lot of shows and wore a lot of clothes, how do you um, incorporate hard style into it? Because it's actually very hard to do so. Um, I try not to listen, but with, I've been working with a lot of them for a very long time. So usually, they just allow me to, you know, when you they give you a set of different clothes and then they allow you to kind of interchange and then add your accessories and then of course I collaborate with my makeup artist or my hairstylist but you know we, we play up with you know if it's a very dressy outfit we kind of go soft on the hair but it, it's really more of translating what you see on the runway the goal isn't to be on the runway the goal is to translate that look into real life and how a normal person would wear it to the work and stuff like that and lastly, what challenges have you already faced as a global fashion icon and at the same time, the wife of the Senate president? Um, I guess it's putting the two together. Uh, being a wife of a politician is very tricky with what I do, but I think people also forget that at the end of the day, it's still a job. Um, it's very me, but it's a job. And so it uh, it's really a balance of how I do things in terms of living it and working for it. Um, that would probably be the only challenge, but I feel like that's done already because people kind of know that um, So I don't think it's a challenge. The only thing that I feel that I love about Fashion Week is the liberation of just being you. Um, there are no needs, of course you have the ratings and all of that, but you don't need that, you just have to obviously, you kind of see V something <laughs> Sorry. you kind of see stuff but I wanted it to be that because I wanted to be myself as much as possible if, if I could swear on national TV I would do that because it's a boy tayo so you I wanted to highlight those things the tao talaga thank you so much which is a risk well we thank you for that risk and thank you yeah from Tap the Philippines up next we have Nikki Wan of Manila Standard Hello, Hart. Hello. We heart you. Thank you so much. I hope after the show you will see. <laughs> I'm sure everybody will do. Um, first of all, I would just like to congratulate you uh, for the recent Paris Fashion Week. Ten point six million dollars for the media impact value, and you are the top celebrities in Asia. Oh, yeah. A lot of Filipinos, so that's that's for us Filipinos. I need to be put on the map. 
that says a lot na deserving tayo of all the luxury that our country is worth investing on when it comes to putting up stores. Yeah. And of course, that alone reinforces your status as a fashion icon. Uh, how do you feel when people call you that, you know, that title, a global fashion icon? I'm very pressured. I don't want, I, I'm very flattered, but I'm very pressured. In fact, the whole reason why I went to Fashion Week because I was very pressured about ratings and all of that jazz. And to be, to put a number or a ranking makes it a little bit bittersweet for me. Because you know how when you're actors and you're always like the best friend, you're always going to be in every movie and you're always going to have an income. But if you are the Pida, sometimes there's a time frame. I don't want to have a time frame. I just want to be here. So I try not to think about the numbers or being on top. I just want to keep going and enjoying. So so I try not to think about it. Enjoy. In terms of enjoying, uh, you don't seem to get you know tired of the things that you do. Uh, what drives your passion for you know, content creation? And you know how do you keep your content fresh and you know very relevant? I take a break from it. I mean, it's not obvious on Instagram because it's a monster that continuously wants to eat everything. But I try to take a break. I used to be very like, I, I'm still hands on with my reels, I do boards and stuff like that. But but there's nothing flowing, I just don't push it. Because what keeps me going even when I'm tired, it's, it's not a brand, it's not a persona, it's not a made up character that I have to cre keep creating storylines for or whatever. It's who I am, so it will naturally come. I just have to wait. So I guess it will keep the ball rolling. As long as you're yourself, you'll never run out of outfits to pair because you're always going to feel something organic that day. So I guess that's how I keep on. And of course, a lot of people look up to you, you know, as their fashion inspo. Sabi nga nalaga kayo na men. Bakit naman daw? How do you, you know, conceptualize, you know, Concept for brands. How do you develop it from you know from from the conceptualization to the final product that you put out there? Um, sometimes I'm getting my lashes done, and then the young shepherd boy the way mutako. Then I'll think about oh that's what I'm gonna do for Odin Suga. Or sometimes it's a song I hear on the radio, or it's sometimes how I feel. I also like to write on my diary. So a lot of like poetry or like things I say, I've already taken out from an entry I did three years ago. So it really just like, it's my inner thoughts. Although the only bad thing is I really can't sleep at night because I have such an active mind. Kaya yung yoga, yoga na hindi ko magagawa yan. Walang silence sa utak ko. I just keep going. But I guess that's how it is. I'm, I'm very active in my mind. So I have so many ideas in fact. Madam, and then if you need to hire me for other artists, I think I'm willing to turn this into something else. <laughs>